Any idea which implant? Can anybody identify the system here please? Any idea which implant system is this? Hi, which implant system? So which implant, which implant, which implant, which implant and which implant and so on and so forth. So I've got these questions very often and all my uh, social media in all the groups that I am in which is pertain to implantology this is the most commonly asked question that is there how to identify an implant from the x-ray so in this video we are going to see how to identify any implant from just an x-ray so welcome to Dr. Febal Huda's dental encyclopedia so this video I want to make it somewhat different because I want to be as blind as you are okay so you're gonna get a patient with an x-ray or a patient comes to your clinic saying that I have done this implant somewhere else and I want to do the prosthetic phase or there's a small problem in this implant the crown is moving I don't know which company this implant belongs to so these are situations that you could be so I'm just going to put apart all my expertise in implants aside and uh, just try to search it from basic with you. So I've just opened Google here. So I'm going to here and I'm going to just type in dental implant x-rays. Okay, that's a very common thing. Let's go to images and let's look for some an x-ray that has a journal because if I have an implant that has a journal it's gonna be very easy for us to identify yeah okay so here here okay that this looks good it's a very poor image but this looks good because it's research gate and it's definitely not telling us which implant it is so it's gonna be a search yes so the x-ray is not that great but still we'll try to find out what implant system it is so I have used uh, this image because it's a research gate it's gonna be part of a journal so I am 100% sure that the kernel would mention which implant they have used let's hope let's hope let's hope so let us go here and this is the website that you will be typing I've already typed them here so what implant is that dot com okay so this is the free website so you can say it's a free website over here so you're gonna go ahead and click on that so here this is the first interface page that you'll open up it says that this uh, website is completely free and it is to help you out identify your implants through the radiographs perfectly fine that is exactly what we want if you know which company they belong to it's much easier because all you have to do is uh, select those companies and each company has different types of implants so you can just mismatch between them so like here we are blind so we are going to go to implants okay so this is their database over here so it's loading and they have got n number of implants over here and there are lots of pages you can see here there's about 50 pages of implants so it's going to be difficult for you to surf through all of them so they have given us something over here that we can use like company we don't know right now so obviously i don't know the com which company this implant belongs to interface flange body type okay so we don't know any of this so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to open that same website once more what implant is that.com and over here there's something called read tutorial so i'm going to open that as well over here they have mentioned them one by one so the first option that we here have is company definitely which we don't know and then it asks coronal okay if you have any doubts in any of these options leave them as it is any interface any flange just leave them as it is you can easily search but try to find out at least one or two that would help them to narrow down the implant so that you have about 1146 results over here you can see here so we can narrow it down so that you don't keep searching through these x-rays okay so let us narrow that down so interface let's see what interface is it says interface external 
internal or unique so it's that's quite straightforward let's go there it this is a healing cap so for guys who don't know this is a healing cap and the, your implant starts from here down okay and this is the healing cap that's going into the implant so definitely it is not an external or an uh, unique so it looks like an internal connection like this so i'm just going go ahead and hit internal interface cool so that's now narrowed down to 771 that's good that's good so we just almost crossed the thousand mark and come down so flanges we'll see what flanges mean it's this whether it is wide flare or straight again it doesn't look like flared or wide to me it looks pretty straight so let us go ahead and type straight now it's come down to 442 now let's go further collar and micro threads so this is what collars are so there's an apical bend over here apical collar our x-ray is not that clear so I cannot say whether there is a collar or not. So when I have doubt, leave it as it is. Micro threads, I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't know. Body type, we'll see taper. That looks like that is having a taper or a tapered apex or a non-tapered. Now this looks like it's tapered. I don't know if it is having a tapered apex because the x-ray is not that clear and so I'm just going to leave it as any taper I'm not going to touch that because if you choose something which is not there and it will make things even more worse so just let's let's leave it there and let's stick on to what we know implant threads so let's see implant threads. It says uh, threaded or non-threaded. That's very, very straightforward. It does not look like a non-threaded implant. It definitely is a threaded implant. So we would go ahead and say definitely threaded. So now you can see that the search has come down to 411. Good, good, good. Threaded thread type. Uh, it looks like V square reverse V or round okay so it, we'll see if it looks sharp it looks sharp over here over here it looks pretty sharp but if you have a doubt whether it is a V or a round or a reverse but you just leave it as it is only if you feel that it is sharp and it is looking like a V thread over here we would go ahead and say thread type is V don't want to select that come on v perfect now how much how much how much 314 come on guys we can do this apex shape An apex shape apex shape okay mid groove i don't think i can see mid groove there it's not very clear so i'm not going to go to mid groove apex definitely i can see it's asking for a v apex round curved or a flat how does that look that looks pretty curved to me it looks like this so I'm gonna go here and say apex is curved not flat not flat not flat sorry 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 curved curved yes curved okay so now my search has come down to 170 I have only 170 results that are there so let's now do the hard work let's go search okay does it look like that no because the threads are very few over here the threads are pretty much more than those so it's definitely not biomet so if it's not biomet it's not biomet at all so just leave it it's definitely not add-in does not look like add-in because it does not have a groove like this it does not have so that's out of the question it's not american because it does not have a hole you can see here there's a hole there's no hole there so even that goes out the window now this looks pretty good let's see no because we don't have a collar 
So if you can see here, there is a collar over here, which is not there. So definitely not that. It does not look like dense ply also. No, 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 definitely no, because okay, this quite looks like that, but no. You can see here it's V threads again. So here those are like two micro threads. Definitely not that. Definitely not that. Definitely not that. Key no because you have a head here. It's not that. So it's not keystones either. So let's go to the second page here. <clears throat> Ta-da! Second page MIS. Definitely no because it got a ledge here. So it's not MIS, uh, it's not this because it's got a groove, so it's not definitely MIS, it's not there. Noble BioCare, looks like Mobile BioCare. No, because it has a collar. Ours don't have a collar. So it's definitely not Noble BioCare. Not Noble BioCare, Implant Direct. Now that looks pretty close to our implant. Yeah, it looks pretty close to our implant but this grooves are too big too big not holes no holes not stroman definitely not stroman so this implant is getting stubborn so let's go to the third page okay so Definitely not this because it's got a flat. We want it to run all the way. Definitely not this as well because it's got a... We have to keep going back to the image so that we don't remember forget what we are looking into. Definitely not that as well. Well, this is exactly how it looks. We have V threads all over. Do we have V threads all over? Yes, we have V threads all over. The chamber is coming to the mid part of the implant. The chamber is coming to the mid part of the implant. So this is definitely not it. Maybe this or this. Okay, so this is mostly the answer because this has a more wider approach, I feel. So it definitely falls under this family, maybe. So let us see, it's called Hyosin ET3. I have never heard of this implant yet. So let us see. Let us go to the research journal. Okay, so the research journal is here. Do you okay, hydrophil object of the study is to compare the implant stability of Hyosin implants? Yes, we have got the killer here. Hyosin ET3 implant. Okay, so let's see Hyosin ET3 implant. So that's how basically how you find your implant. I'm lucky that I found it in the third page. If not, this video would have been much longer than 12 minutes. Well, let us see. Okay, guys, uh, see you all in the next video. Till then, this is Dr. Fibble signing off.